I just Good morning everyone, I'm uh, going on a little hike today. I don't know if you can see the mountains there in the background, but that's where I'm going. Um, it's not too far, I think it's about seven, seven or eight kilometers towards the mountain. And then I'm gonna continue downwards towards the lake. So there's a lake behind those mountains and we're gonna go and chill out there for a day. Uh, sleep o sleep in the forest and yeah just have some time off um, so I've been told that there's vultures there on top of the mountain so it would be really cool to see the nests of the vultures I'm not sure though um, that's what people have been telling me so yeah uh, let's go and check it out today so it's gonna be pretty hot um, yeah it's gonna be 35 degrees today, so now it's almost 7.30. I overslept a bit, so I really need to get going fast. Otherwise, it's just gonna be too hot to, to do anything, you know? Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. The house there in the background, that is Valerie, her house, so that's where we come from, and the mountain in the background, that is Monsanto. So yeah, leaving home for a few days, and we're going westwards, over there somewhere, you can't see the mountain now, but yeah, let's go. I'm going to try and do quite a bit of distance in the first hour. Like I said, to the mountain it's only about 7 or 8 kilometers. Um, it's past 8 now. And yeah, I'm already sweating my arse off. So if I can do in the first hour maybe a kilometer or 5, then, you know, I'm settled for the day. Those peaks over there, that's where we're going. Apparently that's where the, the vultures and the eagles are, so there should, there should be nests, nests there. I'm not sure if they still would be having young babies in them, but yeah, it's worth going there. Let's check it out.
we are not very far yet but uh, I have to check for the route I was a bit in a hurry so I already know that um, I forgot some things but you know I'm only leaving for for a day maybe maybe two days I, I'm not sure um, yeah the only thing I can think of now that I forgot is my book so that's not a big deal it's just you know it's nice to have something to read in but uh, I guess it's just gonna be me the one and my thoughts for the next 24 hours or more which is fine you know We're starting to climb now. Um, the first bit isn't too steep, but then uh, towards the end, I saw there's gradients of 28, 29 percent, which sounds pretty crazy. I need a break. This climb is uh, really steep Whew. and it's getting hot, but um, we're almost at the top, so the hardest part should be done. And it's 9.30, so I left an hour and 20 minutes ago, which is really not bad, you know. It's just a short hike, but you know, it's nice to explore your own neighborhood where you're living. I can always see this mountain from where I'm staying. So yeah, I was always curious how it was, how it actually is here. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. I mean, I kind of love and hate the eucalyptus. They're causing so much trouble in this place, but they're also really beautiful trees. Um, yeah, how their bark is falling off. This is all bark. Their color changing, their leaves changing. Yeah, really, really special trees. Anyway, gonna have a little drink, have a little rest, and then uh, we continue. Uh, I just I was just I was just trying to say that I miss them but uh, those were some vultures I think we're almost on top here they're probably nesting over there somewhere they're just three three the three of these big vultures flew over me um, yeah, let's hope we see some more. So, 
So my uh, my map here says that I am on the track, but uh, yeah, as you can see, there's not much of a, of a track here. So yeah, I'm just guessing. Um, yeah, climbing over tree stumps, climbing over boulders, and see where we get. So. I can actually see a nest and a, and a chick, but it's quite a big chick. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it. It's up on like there and that split. There's a nest and there's a little chick there. I will try to zoom in a bit. You can barely make it out, but wait, where are you? Just there on the top of my finger, you see that little, there's a black hole and in the middle, in the center, you see something moving very slightly. That's one of the chicks of the vultures. Amazing. I think I will wait here for a bit, maybe we see one of the parents arrive to the nest, that would be really cool. Yeah. I've been waiting for about half an hour, the nest is right up there. Um, I was hoping to catch one of the parents flying in to the nest, but uh, Sadly enough, I can't really wait, it's going to get pretty hot pretty soon, so I still have to do 4, four or 5 kilometers, I think, before I reach the lake. Um, so. So we made it, we made it to the lake, um, yeah, pretty stoked, it was a nice walk, but it was about time to get here, it's uh, 11.30 and yeah, I think it's about 32, 33 degrees now, in an hour it will probably be 35, so it's perfect, ti perfect time to search for some shelter and have a little swim, so I'm gonna follow the bed here and search for a little space in the shade where I can chill out for the day. So yeah, uh, let's go and search for a camping spot. We made it. <sighs> Uh, this isn't the best spot yet, but uh, uh, I got a whole day to find a good spot. 
for now I, I am in the shade and I just want to jump in the water drink something and yeah relax so you guys We're back on the road. Um, yeah, so that was the lake. It was a pretty, pretty good night. Slept quite good. The hill, the slope was a bit steep to sleep on, but uh, other than that, it was a perfect night. Mm -hmm. No wind, perfect temperature, just birds and insects, some wild boars in the background, and uh, yeah, it was lovely to be part, to be in nature, to be submerged by it. So pretty cool so now we're going uh, to fetch some water I hope I find a spring there's a spring somewhere over there I never been there I just know that it's there um, so yeah I'm out of water so still about three hours walking home so it would be good to have to have some water so yeah guys back on the road
This is really beautiful. Imagine living in this little paradise with little bridges. Everything is green. I bet even in the hottest day it's 10 degrees cooler than anywhere else. Yeah, cascades on your property. Everything lush and green. Uh, this must be really, really amazing to live on a place like this. I don't think there's actually somebody living here. It's more like a storage, storage room and for tourist attraction. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool anyway. That is where the natural swimming pool is. I took the wrong turn to get there, but it doesn't matter. I can go there another time. Looks pretty nice from up here. Um, yeah, just a small little pool between the rocks. Now there's nobody there, but apparently uh, during the day there's always loads of people there. So um, yeah, we will have a look another time. So we're almost back where the nest is. So yeah, I'm just gonna be quiet, keep the camera on and hope that we can see some beautiful big birds. Yeah. Yeah, now you could, now you can see the, the, the little, I think it's a vulture, come on. flying over me.
home after that beautiful hike we had um, yeah I waited there for uh, quite a bit to see if the the two big birds the two vultures that were flying over would land to would land in the nest but they didn't so yeah I just gave up waiting I think I'm pretty sure that they spotted me so I might scare them off um, yeah they maybe didn't want to lead the uh, lead the way to their nests so or that weren't their parents that's also a possibility I don't know anyway um, yeah as you can see I'm back working on on my house here um, I had to wait for a few weeks to get uh, new supplies of sand and uh, the mortar so yeah um, now I can continue I have to be honest though, I'm struggling a bit with the heat from the last few weeks. Um, I'm not used to this kind of weather at all. I'm from up the north, so it's the first first time I experience this uh, weather for more than a few days, you know. So in Belgium, it could happen that, you know, the it goes over 35 degrees, but it's a rarity. Um, but here the last few few weeks um, most days reach to 35 or even higher 38 39 degrees and yeah I must say I'm struggling with it so I'm taking my pace down quite a bit over the summer months um, because I need to deal with the heat I'm trying to get up early in the mornings but it doesn't always work uh, yeah I just need to find my own rhythm in this and so with that with the summer months here I think things will go much slower um, yeah I'm trying to work every day now a little bit on my walls building step by step you know um, if I get every day a few hours done then you know at the end we will get there I'm hoping to be done with the stonework in maybe three weeks time so by the end of July hopefully uh, yeah and it's just back now to the daily chores um, feeding the chickens and yeah I, I kind of want to show you some new arrivals as well Back doing my chores, feeding the chickens and the, ch and the sheep, as you can see. But uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to to show you guys this the arrival of some new animals. But um, I just see that they actually escaped. So yeah, these are well, they need to come out of out of the sunlight. You can see them here on the background. John and Johnny. But they actually just escaped the electric fence. So yeah. Um, I bet they will just jump straight back in when I go over with the feet. So let's go and check. So 
yeah, like I said, it's summer. It's quite hot around here. Um, I think my content over the next few months might slow down a little bit. I still will try to do my best to make a video every week. But um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's very hot. I don't do much during the day. I'm usually going to the lake or just chilling here by the river somewhere um, because you know it's, it just takes too much energy to be working in this heat. Um, yeah, so it's step by step. It goes slow, and yeah, we will see. But uh, anyway, thanks to everybody that uh, subscribed in the last few months. Um, it's really amazing to see this community grow. Uh, I know the last few videos were a bit different. But um, yeah, step by step, I will get back to the to the building and to the homesteading and everything. But yeah, it's just a different a different pace now. So anyway, thanks guys for watching, and see you guys soon. Bless.